Hey YouTube, it's your friend Dominic Tringali here again with issue 7 of Star Wars Build the Millennium Falcon. This one we have this nice red color. Uh, each one different color, but always an image of the Millennium Falcon model on the front. Uh, so with this being the seventh issue, again another ten ninety nine plus uh, with VAT out of my pocket. So total cost I've invested into this so far is uh, sixty nine forty three. Um, so let's just get down to the brass tacks and talk about this issue. So first things first, we have this article about the forerunner of the Falcon, this YT eleven hundred light freighter. Um, so you know, just talking about some of the the granddaddy of the uh, YT-1300. So this was uh, Corellian Engineering Corporation's earliest uh, you know, staple mass-produced uh, freighter. You know, it's pretty cool, I suppose. Uh, here's, again, a more detailed shot, side and aerial view of the top. So, you know, it was uh, it was quite a interesting read. I liked that talking about how it differed from the Millennium Falcon itself. And then we have speaking of the Millennium Falcon, we have the Secrets of Space Flight article uh, on the crew facilities, talking about um, the shower and the toilet. Uh, they call it a refresher. <laughs> um, essentially, what it's like to be on a berth in the Millennium Falcon. Not many places to sleep. And you got your bathroom in there. Crew quarters. We have early uh, concept art for the pirate ship interior. That's what they called it originally. Pirate ship interior before it had a name. And these Seats, which I always thought looked kind of comfortable, are actually made of clay. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> and they have this whole article on refreshers. Yeah. Interesting. So, uh, <clears throat> then we go and we talk about Yavin and its moons. The Battle of Yavin was a major turning point for the Rebel Alliance, as we all know. It allowed them to successfully... Uh, destroy the Death Star. What you might not know about Yavin is it actually used to be a Sith stronghold uh, long before the Rebel Alliance took hold. Um, that ancient temple used to be a Sith uh, temple. Kind of interesting, you know, stuff about that. Uh, also, it was filmed in South America, you know, and uh, we have these temples, these, these ancient ruins that they filmed everything on. Very interesting stuff. Uh, here's the article about the, the Sith Lord. What was that guy's name? The Dark Side Magician Naga Sado. Yeah, Naga Sado. You know, he, apparently they built the entire temple with no machines, just uh, the f nasty Dark Side force powers. And uh, Tikal City is where the actual uh, scene was filmed. You all probably recognize that. That's some concept art that got made before the filming. Yeah. So, and then always we have these instructions on what to do with our parts. This, you know, issue again comes in a plastic bag and I'm gonna bust this guy open and show you guys what I got. So, not a whole lot in this issue. Um, this big, the biggest piece, obviously, I'll start with the biggest piece is the floor to the uh, crew, co the uh, passenger quarters, you know, where, you know, people generally just hang around and uh, play the jack on their holographic table. Let's see that clips into place. Yeah. Bam. There you go. That's, that's where that goes. Awesome. This finally has a home. Been holding on to this little thimble sized piece for a while. Now it's finally got a home. There we go. Uh, the next biggest piece is this uh, sprue right here, which is uh, looks like pieces for the actual couch um, that 
they sit on. Um, and then we have, I'm not quite sure what these are, but we'll find out um, what exactly those are in some sort of bracket to hold the things put together. All right, so I'll start assembling this and uh, I'll let you know what I got so far. So the first step was to remove this piece from the, from the sprue and just kind of clean up the flash. So I used a hobby knife um, to trim that off the sprue and then just go ahead and clean up some of the mold lines, flash, take that down. And uh, so now we take that and we're going to actually sand it a bit and uh, we'll show you the next step. So I went ahead and put some super glue in here and this piece just goes right in there like that. And uh, voila, that's how that's supposed to look. All right, so I've trimmed off these pieces, sanded them down so they have nice edges to them. And so I just need to glue them into here and then take these thin pieces and glue them on the sides and comes together to form something I'll show you in a second. So there's some instructions here about how to uh, paint and embellish some of the cockpit features and where to glue um, and some gluing instructions. Um, I'll probably utilize those um, a bit and uh, but to be honest with you I'm a much better painter than even the guy in this uh, article I think I could do a lot better than him so um, mine should take a little while longer than but it ultimately it's it's very minimal um, and to be honest with you it's like his, his process is kind of weird like you know I personally I don't I wouldn't make my seat that embellished I would I would probably not want to add that much color because it makes it look really cheap I don't know I would just probably uh, do a nice wash in there and uh, just try to get inside the lines not over the whole thing so there's that so I went ahead and uh, <clears throat> actually followed some instruction advice and uh, did a little painting on the interior um, not entirely sure how, how much I like how it turned out but it just adds a little extra something to it and I know I did a little bit to bring out the cockpit make it pop just a little bit more um, just used uh, some metallic gunmetal paint and then used a uh, little wash black wash to kind of bring out the detail again and uh, with the seats I did a hit, went over ahead and did a little bit of a wash so after seven issues this is what I have to show for it um, I mean the most complete piece is obviously this cockpit and it's not even really complete um, over here I have the start <laughs> the start quote unquote of the actual uh, crew room um, I'm actually going to paint a little I don't know if you can see let me see if I can pull it in I'm going to go ahead and put some dry brushing effect right here to make that pop a little bit um, yeah but for the most part I think I'm not going to be doing too much more painting except for the exterior hull just to give it a little bit more weathering and uh, patchwork look to it like uh, you see on this piece right here so yeah and uh, eventually I'll be gluing on these kit bash pieces but that's that's far down the line alright so with issue 8 um, it looks like I'll be getting um, a technical station some more walls to the main hold uh, and passenger seating parts so I'll actually be able to finish the couch that is over here and uh, we'll see how that looks right so you know please feel free to leave some comments down below um, for sure uh, make sure you hit the like button and uh, you know if you have you can if you really like the show go ahead and click on my subscribe button 
and you'll be getting all of these videos uh, that I'm putting out for my construction of the Millennium Falcon. And, uh, you know, have a nice day, man.